you're watching Movie Guide. I'm your host, Evie Carroll. We're at the premiere of Despicable Me 3 with Gru and all the minions. Let's talk to them. Having your son record one of the minion voices. Oh, that was fun. We did that um, at the end of one of our, our recording sessions, and I asked the director, he was in France at the time, um, asked if my son could come in and do some voices for him. So we talked him through some voices. It was fun. So is he going to be in the industry too? I don't think so. I mean, he was interested in just that that one day, but he's not. He hasn't expressed a great interest in, in acting. What excites you the most uh, through the seven-year journey? What's that? What excites you the most uh, through the seven-year journey with the franchise? Um, it's just it's been fun and collaborative, and Illumination is a great, great company to work for, and I think they just produce really kind-hearted things. So, what does Crew have to learn about family and forgiveness? Um, well, you know, he's sort of progressed all the way through these movies. He starts as a very grumpy, lonely guy, and then he adopts these three kids, and by the third one, now he, he finds out he's a long-lost brother. So I think his heart is getting bigger. He's yeah. certainly opening up to other people, but he's, he's still drawn to that villainous side, for sure. So now you've introduced Gru's brother. Do you guys feel like brothers after working on this? Uh, brother, we, so we are, I think we are. We are I like think brothers. We are a lot like brothers. <laughs> I love you, brother. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. You had to get us all emotional. <laughs> well, it's either brothers or old married couple. It's sort yes. of. There's a lot okay. of that. Is too. it more of that? Uh, there, it could that be happens. more of that. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you guys work together on something that you know someone's write, written it, someone's like, okay, no, maybe not. Well, how we generally we'll generally kind of outline together. And once we kind of know where what we're thinking, we'll split up scenes. Yeah. So Cinco will go write a scene, I'll go write a scene, and then we bring them back together, read them, read them out loud together, and then try and help each other out or yeah. pitch out jokes for each other's scenes. Or I make his scene better. <laughs> I'll make Cinco's like scene work. <laughs> <laughs> who is funnier? Oh, that's I couldn't say. I think we know. I think we know. Oh, who's it's, it's it's very clear. clear. Oh, yeah. I think we just from talking to, to us, you to know say anything who's about the funnier, who's funnier one. But yeah, yeah, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. Okay, what does Gru feel threatened by his brother? <laughs> that kind of tension? Well, well, mostly his hair. <laughs> what is that supposed like, to mean? Well, I think someone who's bald would be very threatened <laughs> I, by I someone with so like luscious I locks. I think that's interesting <laughs> that you would feel that way. I think it's that, and it's and. We wanted Drew to be the opposite of Gru, and yeah. so he li he likes hugging, which yeah. Gru hates hugging. He's full of life and yeah. laughter and joy, Drew yeah. is, and Gru is not. Yeah. So, yeah, he doesn't really understand this guy. Yeah. And when did this idea kind of come up to you to, to bring in the brother? Oh, it was, it was years ago. <laughs> yeah, probably three years, three or even four years ago, we first started talking about, like, maybe Despicable Me 3 should be about Gru's long-lost twin brother. Yeah. Yeah. It took a while for us to figure out how that would happen. How he have a brother? Because we know he doesn't have a brother. Or does he? Or was there a little parent trap thing happening? Yeah. I love it. What are kind of the messages that families can get out of it? Like more positive messages? Ah, that I guess you really should even embrace your most annoying relatives, I think is kind of the message. Yeah. That's it. It's a message of forgiveness and, you know, and it's. It's very much about families, yeah. the Despicable yeah. Me franchise. It's all about making the family bigger and yeah. bigger. And every time you add a new member, there's some things to work out. Yeah. But, but yeah, I think that's the message. Love your families, people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's a good message. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. So talk about family. Is that part of the reason you like to do these uh, type of movies for oh, families? To more help than them? any other thing, you know. Yeah. I come from, uh, I tell you, from my mother's side, I have 17 brothers and sisters. Oh my God. So I have cousins for days, only yeah. from her side. So family has been like a big thing. Yeah. So nowadays, after having worked so long in a project like this yes. and, and finally get to play this for many families all over the world. Yeah. Uh, to me, it's just like a dream come true, really. Yeah, yeah. You know? And do you feel like you're a family within the producers and directors that oh, are doing big time. this? Because you've been doing every single... Since the first yeah. one, we've done the three, me, the three Despicable Me's and the Minions, and yeah. hopefully much more to come. Yeah. But, you know, it, you said something very true. Um, it really, it's about, you know, uh, Illumination about Universal and the fact that you know because it has this less entertain people, they really protect me, protect the music, and I feel like uh, like at home. So you know your brother would never hurt you, your sister would never hurt you, yeah. right? Okay, so I heard you use very unconventional uh, tools to make sounds. Can you tell us about yeah, that? Yeah, I do that all the time. I really love. I know I know some people. 
people, uh, let's say a Home Depot by name. <laughs> use a lot of things. So for example, in the choir, yeah. uh, in order to sound like uh, metallic and different, I got foil paper for 60 people to sing like evil brats. Yeah. So we have our bad guys theme yeah. with a choir singing like that. And and for uh, uh, the cheese festival, all the percussion is made with cheese graters wow. and that kind of vibe. So it's fun, you know. Have you always done that uh, with always. your technique? Yeah. yeah, I do. I do. Because then it's a way of without us knowing uh, it breeds familiarity too yes, yeah. you know this is the utensils that are in everybody's daily life yeah. so it's fun so you're an artist too uh, I, <laughs> yeah I think you can say that yeah. and I'm very proud to yeah. be there yeah. that's a wrap from the red carpet of Despicable Me 3 make sure to check out the full review at movieguide.org